go ahead and cut this around my ear. What it looks like, nice and flat. She's definitely cute, she's definitely simple, and she's definitely giving vibes, guys, period. get straight into the video less jaw jacking because you guys know I can just talk so this is the unit as you guys can see it is a really nice unit uh, this is already pre-done so I really don't have to do that much but I might do like a little swig on the side I absolutely love this hairline guys look how clean that hairline is very very nice and crisp so what I'm going to do with this 13 by 4 is customize it first because that makes sense before we have at least put it down now I think for today because I'm gonna wear this unit for the, a couple of days I want it to be an install that lasts a couple of days um even though as you can tell it is pretty secure even just using adjusting the hooks and adjusting the strap it's actually pretty secure but once i cut this we'll see like a little bit of lift here so i want to kind of make sure it's melted looking so i'm gonna go in with the bold hold liquid gold today just to get a nice kind of slayed look so we're gonna use this but let me start off first by cutting and customizing the air tabs that's mostly important so you guys know i just use my hand and i kind of drag my hand or my finger right behind the ear so it should be right about here it doesn't have to be perfect guys you just kind of have to get the wig the way you want it so I use my fingers to do it just because it's much easier to use my nails I know right you can use a comb or do it on a mannequin hand which would probably be better but hey for the practice of me doing it real quick for y'all and just a real easy easy job let me show you guys how I would do it so I'm probably gonna go up a little bit higher probably like right there and then what we're gonna do is just cut it. So you wanna make sure you have your clips and I love when the company send clips because the clips help out um, when it comes to styling. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and cut this around my ear. It seems like you're losing a lot of hair by doing that but you're really just making sure that the wig fits you. Like the wig has to fit your head. So I'll cut this off in a minute but I want to show you guys you do a nice little clean cut like that. There you go. So it'll land like this and if you wanna do a baby hair, we'll just pull this much hair right here and then go ahead and tweeze a little bit of it and just do like a nice little baby hair there you kind of get the vibes so this part is done and again you want to make sure you keep adjusting it even though my middle part is never like middle parting we kind of got it in the middle part you feel me all right guys so what you want to do is make sure you wipe down your edges because you want this to adhere really well any makeup that you have make sure you get everything off before you start gluing it down because you want to make sure that this unit sticks so I'm gonna go in again with the bold hold liquid. I'm gonna use the back of one of my makeup brushes because it's just easier to apply it like this instead. This is actually pretty tacky, guys. It's like a really nice tacky uh, adhesive and it also dries pretty fast. So I would say kind of work fast with it. This one shockingly dries fast, but it has a really, really good hold. I'm gonna actually reinforce this with uh, some of my spritz because spritz, has been my jam lately, like the old school spritz. Y'all remember spritz was popular back then? It has been doing such a good job keeping my wigs nice and styled and even actually reinforcing um, an install. It actually helps pretty well. So I'm gonna use spritz on top of it once I cut the lace off. We're gonna do like the, you know, pull this over and cut the lace off after we let it melt just because I wanna try it that way today. Again, I'm not gonna do baby hairs direct right here. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna do the baby hairs more on the sideburns, like some sideburns um, instead. All right guys, so I did go ahead and pull this down as you guys can see. It's nice and tacky in each position, making sure that it lays flat, even on the sides right here. You wanna make sure that the fl sides stay flat. Now, before I actually band this up, I wanna go ahead and make sure I pull the hair for the baby hairs, the sideburns out first, because I don't want that to get like mixed up with everything. I'm gonna put the band down and spray, and then I'm gonna pull the band off and cut the lace. So I'm just gonna pull out the baby hair, the future baby hair that I want to use for the sideburns only. Again, you wanna make sure you get this part to stay down, so. 
And the baby ears also work to disguise any imperfections on the side right here. So that's why I like to do like a little sideburn because the sideburn is definitely a helper at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and do one from right here all the way up. Well, that's a lot. I'm gonna curve it down here. Pull some of this back in here. So we'll get a neck, there you go, perfect. Just like that. All right, y'all got my trusty spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the perimeter. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my band on and leave it on for about like 30 minutes until I really cure it. Then I'm gonna take it off and you know how it goes. But let's go ahead and spray this down in the front. Now I only spray on the hair. I don't necessarily spray the lace part just because I'm gonna cut it off anyways. So I just want like the base to get stuck. Y'all feel me when I say that? Like you kind of put it on the hair, like just the front of the hair first and then it will kind of bleed off into it because I'm going to cut the lace off anyways. I just want to make sure that it stays in place. Y'all feel me? All right guys, so I let the band sit on here for about like 20 minutes. And you guys can see it is nice and stuck stuck on all angles. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off now. You guys can see it looks good. Obviously I'm gonna have to use a little bit of you know alcohol pads just to clean some areas off. We're gonna do that cleanup once I cut the lace off. But I want to show it to you guys. This is what it looks like. Nice and flat. And perfect we're obviously gonna fluff everything up but the baby here stayed as separated as you guys can see right there it looks excellent on both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off and I'll be right all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the baby hairs as you guys can see the hairline looks very very nice and clean next step is to wet the hair and add a little product which I am going to do but let me go ahead and cut the baby hairs I think I'm gonna cut it at a pretty good length but not too too long Hopefully that curl is nice. I want it to be like a nice little swiggly curl. I've been doing these cute little designs, like these little curl designs in my head. So I want to try that with this hair. Since this hair is so pretty, we'll do a nice like little baby hair curl on it. So I, mean, I left this one way too long. Okay. All right, y'all. So a side part was calling me. So I decided to go ahead and do like a side part. Now let me show you. These are the sideburns right here. It's a nice, nice little swig on this side. And I did a nice little fluffy one on this side as well. All I did was use my brush and freeze it up with a little bit of spritz because I want to break the cast after. But I realized with the side part, I'm going to go ahead and do like a little baby hair right here as well too. Just one in the front that swoops into the parting space. I usually do this, especially with a side part like this with curly hair. It just looks really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut like a little baby hair. Not too long because I want it to kind of go into the actual hairline. So a nice size baby hair. Uh, to go ahead and curve into this parting space right here because I think it will look cute like that. You guys can see the hairline is stunning. Look at how beautiful this is. So nice and simple. Again, a little baby hair magic. Again, I said I was going to do one right here, but I feel like with a side part, honey, I close this up in the front. A side part just eats up, honey. So I'm going to go ahead and curl this little baby hair and then we're going to go ahead and wet the hair. And then I'll show you guys a product that I put in the hair. I'll put the product in with you, but I'll wet it off camera. Yeah. All right, guys. So I wet the hair very loosely. I'm going in with the Moisture Miracle from African Pride. This is a curly milk detangler. Uh, the hair is very, very pretty, guys. And the density is absolutely large. Now I'm only using this one just to give some moisture. I ran out of my can too, but I've been using this product on my other curly units and it's been actually pretty good. And we're just using this just to get some moisture back into it and make sure that the curls are locked in and loose. So it's kind of like a little leave-in, I guess you want to call it. So I'm going to do it on both sides. She's definitely cute. She's definitely simple. And she's definitely giving vibes, guys, period. This unit is very, very pretty, guys. Simple and straight to the point. Obviously, I showed you guys step by step what to do with this unit. I kept it very, very simple. Did a little customizations with the baby hairs or whatever, but you guys can see this is what the hair looks like fully dry. I mean, it's about like 88% dry, 89% dry. Let's go with 90, 90% dry. But the unit is absolutely stunning. You guys can see this 250% density is thick, honey. This is a thick, thick, density and it's very very pretty um i love this the 24 inches on the curl is actually a really 24 inch usually when it's like a curly texture like this the 24 inch don't be hitting like that but this 24 inch is definitely hitting um i really like this one guys i feel like another thing that i really like about this unit is that the um actual 13 by 4 is not super thick a lot of the times the companies can't balance that out where you're gonna get like a very very thick 
um, like frontal part, but this frontal part works perfectly with the density. It's not too much. It's just the right amount of hair on the frontal part. Um, I do like it in the side part, guys. You guys kind of see what I did with the little swiggles. And look at how, look at how clean and HD this lace is. Very, very nice. I didn't add any tinting spray this time. If you guys notice, I didn't spray this cap this time. The only thing I did with this unit is touch the um, edges with a little bit of my Fenty Beauty powder, my foundation powder. And that was basically that, guys. But like, look at this. So shout out to your list of hair company for sponsoring today's video guys i absolutely love this unit let me know your thoughts on this one if you guys like it in the side part if you can feel it in the middle part but i wanted to try something else out for you guys give you guys a little bit of customizations this unit already comes prepared for you so you don't have to do that much with it it's practically glueless and the reason why i say that is because once i take this unit off it's going to land back on my head precisely and even creating the baby hairs the sideburns right here once i put this unit back on it's going to fall into place and you guys can already see it already create its own look so that's one thing I love about these units it's just gonna be very easy for me to turn this unit into a glueless unit after the first install so hope you guys enjoyed today's video I will leave all the information down below guys including a coupon code again I absolutely love this one I was in the need for a nice kind of thick curly units and again with this one I have it like about 89% dried so once this reaches its full maximum dryness you guys will kind of see more of a flowy natural curl and that's kind of the look I'm going for especially because you guys know I love air dried curls I just it, just look, it just looks so good and so realistic guys so I'm excited about that so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will catch you guys in a later one bye